They don't want to hear you sitting around here talking and yapping and anything I do. Who cares? I don't care what any of you guys do. If you want to know the truth. Oh, you guys had different... Uh, you, had, you were struggling with some of your stuff. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Think I care? No. You know what I care about? Do you care about the people in yourself? All the other stuff takes care of itself. You know I'm right. Yes, sir. You know I'm right. So, ever hear of, uh, I'm a financial planner. <laughs> okay. Every day. Every day. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a public speaker. Every day. Yeah. You're speaking to your kids. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Every day, man. <laughs> and you know, I'm a mo if you don't motivate, man, getting up in the morning, you got to motivate yeah. yourself. Oh, it's, 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 to me, it's like, do I have to go work out? Yes. <laughs> Why? And you look at the results, and you look at, well, if I did, here's what I'm going to look like. If I do, here's what I'll look like. I'm going to go. Yeah. 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 Does that make sense? Yes. A lot of us, go ahead. Can I ask, what was your greatest motivation and inspiration while you yourself were moving through your greatest points of struggle, then or now? I think I picked certain things up. Like I said, in this room today, I got inspired. Uh, that little kid inspired me. Yes. I go on and on every day. It's not one thing. That's what I'm saying. Don't hang on one thing. Because y'all, my coach did not change my life. He was just in that one little moment. That janitor did not change. He was just happened to be there. There were many people like him. So don't look for one thing to change your life. you got to change your thoughts. You change your thoughts, your life changes. Get rid of your goofy thoughts. Get rid of them. They're not... Don't you all live in the past, or you, you live? Oh, look what I am. That's get rid of that. That's that goofy thought. Does that make sense? Yes, goofy sir. thoughts stop you. You all know what a goofy thought is, right? Mm -hmm. Can you help me out? Doubting. Doubting. What else? I, I, I'll give you a goofy thought. You ready? You're, you'll like this. Any Catholics in here? <laughs> <laughs> One Catholic. <laughs> One Catholic. You know, I. This is. I'm one of fourteen. So I'm not more. <laughs> now, you like this. I could not look at you people when I was Catholic because I could have gone to hell. That's a goofy thought, right there. Don't look at him. He could be Protestant. You're going to hell. <laughs> That's how I grew up. You go, to, you go to church and your dad would say, You better not turn around today. You'll turn to stone. <laughs> you know, all these issues up there, it was goofy thoughts. Yes, sir. You know, and even when you talk to church, <laughs> your ears will fall off. <laughs> like you can't turn up, you can't talk, you can't look at people. What the heck are you going to do? You see a good looking girl in church, you can't tell your brother? Oh, man, look at the girl in back, dude. You can't. And your mother said, you'll find a good girl in church. And I'll say, how? <laughs> <laughs> See the confusion? <laughs> oh, it's confused. Goofy thoughts, I'm telling you. That's what I'm talking about, goofy thoughts. That's what we get hung up on, a goofy thought. You been, you grew up with goofy thoughts, and you give them back. Yes, sir. You know? it's amazing. Inspiration is the key to what? Education. It's not education. <laughs> I'm going to prove it. You ready? It's not what you know. I'm telling you, you don't know this answer. It's so simple, and you all should know it. I guarantee you, there's not one that knows it. You ready for the question? You ready? Mm -hmm. And you're not afraid. Don't cheat. Don't. <laughs> right? If you don't stand Google up. It? But you better know the answer. Okay. If you don't know the answer, I'm going to embarrass you in front of all your friends. <laughs> That's my teacher, right? Who's the fifth president of the United States? No idea. Are you an American? I'm not a history buff at all. Excuse me, that's an excuse. That's an excuse. Any fifth president? Are you kidding me? Adams? No. God, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I am so embarrassed. You don't know the fifth president? Hold on, stop right there. See how goofy that is? I'm going to tell you. I was 45 years old until I met, until I found out the fifth president. So are you going to tell us? <laughs> <laughs> See how excited you are now? <laughs> I got to know. Yeah, you got to know? Well, no. Don't stop guessing now. You know how you find out the fifth president? 
Google it. That's okay. But once you find out my way, you'll never forget them. Truth. You'll forget the Google Gazettes. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. But you find out my way. Here's my point to this whole story. You don't need to know in order to be someone. My teacher told me I needed to know to be someone. And I resisted that. I resented that. Because she made me stand up and go in the back of the room. Because I didn't know the fifth president. Because I went home and listened to the Yankees beat Boston. She gave us a homework assignment to go study the first five presidents. I'm not going to study no presidents. Yankees are playing. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? There's no way. If I go to school talking about Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle, who do you think she picks on? Me. How many? Oh, you've been in that position about education. You confuse your kids. You better study tonight. Maybe he's tired. Maybe he don't want to. What if you inspired that little boy or little girl to study? That's right. See, if my teacher would have said the first five batters of the first five presidents, I would have known. Am I right? Would you have known that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's part of the deal. Inspiration is the key to what? Everything. You need to be inspired. Most of you don't get inspired. Listen to good music. Hang around good people. Get good thoughts, and your goofy thoughts just go away. It's true. They just go, go away. It's amazing how it works. Well, that's it. But I did find out the fifth president, just so you know. James Monroe. James Monroe. Did you look it up on Google? Yes, I did. <laughs> the president of the United States called me in 1994, his social director, and asked me if I, she did, not him, if I was available to go watch the movie Rudy and have dinner with him at the White House, Look. would you go? Yes. If that count in 1994? Mm -hmm. And you listen to Rush Limbaugh, would you still go? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. See, that was my goofy thought. I couldn't go because my dad listens to Rush Limbaugh. Oh. <laughs> you think I'm going to call my dad and tell him where I'm going? <laughs> After he told me if I looked at you, I'll go to hell? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? I'd call your mother. Why? Because she's the inspiration to my father. She told me that. And here's how she said that to me. Because I want you. My parents were married many, many years. They're still married, still living. But I never saw them argue. Is that possible? No, it's not. It is not possible. You are wrong. Because she proved it to me. I asked her, you and Dad never argue. I never see you argue. She said, son, we argue all the time. <laughs> see, you do. See, we made a commitment to each other, never argue in front of you guys. We argued up in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. That's why there's 14 of you. So if you hear, see, if you hear, oh, there's no perfect relationship, no perfect marriage, no perfect friendship, none. It's impossible. I'm not going to like everything you do. You're not going to like everything I do. It's you can't, because you God made you to think and do, and you know you got to compromise and come together. You got to talk. You got to, you know. What's wrong with you? You all right? You mad at me? Why are you mad at me? You don't yell at your kid because he did something wrong because you did it too. <laughs> you probably did worse. <laughs> so you sit him down and say, dude, are you all right? What happened? Why are you thinking like that? I just talked to my little boy. He's eight years old just the other day because he threatened a teacher. Uh -oh. We homeschooled. All he said was, all <laughs> 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 oh, he said to the teacher was, You'll be, you'll be sorry. Because, you know, pushing him to do something he didn't want to. You'll be sorry. He's right. There was no inspiration. So I said, what made you think like that, buddy? I don't know, Dad. I just get mad. I don't want to do this all the time. I said, yeah, I know. It's tough, isn't it? He says, yeah. But you know what? I'll tell you what, Danny. Next time you get mad, 
you just say I'm mad and say why you're mad and we'll figure it out instead of you use your in a positive way you think that'll work you'll never get in trouble that way tell the truth all the time why are you mad at me why why are you looking at me like that you mad at me huh are you mad at me that's what I'm trying to say who cares I don't care if you like me or not See, what I'm saying to you, if you say the truth while you're, while you're angry, people will see it and they come together. A lot of people don't tell what they think. I'm trying to figure out what you're thinking. Right now, I'm trying to, what's goofy thoughts run through your head? <laughs> you got them, I know. If you didn't Google, you would have said that. Rude. When I went to the White House, listen to this. When I walked in that White House after I called my mother to inspire my father. <laughs> I go, right? When I went to the White House, first thing, I, I don't know if you've ever been there. Anybody been there before you go there? You know, right, 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 right there, right plain as day, all their pictures are hanging up on the wall. So what do you do? You push your rewind button back to fifth grade. <laughs> Bing, that videotape you have in your head, you live in the past what you should, but you can use it to what? Get information. You go back to fifth grade and say, man. 45 years, James Moreau. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> and I had to be asked by a president of the United States, and he didn't even care if I knew the fifth president or not. <laughs> Think about that. He never asked me. <laughs> Neither did the social director. <laughs> Neither did any senator, any congressman, the first lady. None of them. And I wanted them to because I already knew them. <laughs> They never did. I was disappointed. I know the fifth president. Come on, ask me. <laughs> See, now you have that confidence. Does that make sense? That's the key. One more little story here, because I got a. There's a um, thing. In, if you, uh, how many kids do not clean their room? That you know. <laughs> how many parents do not clean? How many parents do not clean their room? Okay, that's why your kids don't clean their room. It's true. Oh, I know. Now, they come in your room, they see your bed not made. Why should they make it? Right? right? Mm -hmm. it, it's so true. They mirror what you do. So anyhow, my, uh, <laughs> my mother always made her bed. No matter what. She made us make our bed. She also ironed our underwear every Saturday night. Wow. Extra starch? No, you just iron them. We didn't have it. We were not a rich family, so start to it. But iron them. And we had to fold them, right? And we had to fold our socks, put our clothes out for Sunday Mass every Saturday night, and shine our shoes, and make our bed before we went to Mass, and put our iron underwear on. It was so stupid. Why would we do this? You know what my mother said? Because if you get in an accident, <laughs> you have clean underwear. I hear, but I thought that was so stupid. But here's the magic. You ready for this? Remember I told you about that one thought can change your life? We all need confidence, don't we? Sometimes we think we're such failures. Because we try and try. But you never know who's watching. Now watch this. When I decided to join the Navy, it was probably the scariest time of my life. But I did join in my